Hi, my name is Dr. Robin Abramsic, and I'm a general dentist in Heath, Texas. The name of my practice is Smile Ridge Dentistry, and I actually practice integrative and biological dentistry, and I am here with one of my good friends, Dr. Rebecca Gracia, and she is actually a doctor who works with thermographies and colonics, and she, we send a lot of patients every single day to her, and I wanted her to share with you a little bit about thermograms and what kind of information they provide for us. Okay. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for yeah. having me. I'm very excited to thank be here you. and to get to share information mm -hmm. about thermography. Mm -hmm. We are uh, providing thermograms to practitioners. So we are a testing facility. Patients come to our office. We do the whole scan, and it is a whole body thermogram. Mm -hmm. So we're not just doing breast. We're not just doing one particular part. Mm -hmm. But our view and our belief is that the body works together as a unit. Absolutely. All the parts communicate together, so right. we need to get all the information. Mm -hmm. And our particular type of thermography is a computer-regulated thermography, which mm -hmm. is a little bit different than camera thermography. We are looking at the underlying function of all the major organs. Yeah. So we do brain toxicity, mm -hmm. we do blood flow, mm -hmm. lymphatics, mm -hmm. heart, lungs, mm -hmm. liver, kidneys. Mm -hmm. And we have a specific point just for the dental area. Mm -hmm. There's multiple levels of information you can get from a thermogram. For dental specific information, we're going to be looking for early signs of subclinical infection. So not necessarily an abscess, not necessarily a cavity, mm -hmm. but those changes that occur even before that is manifested. Mm -hmm. very you can see. Okay. And we're able to pick up changes in the body. Um, for example, in the breast, the studies show eight to ten years before you can really see in other testing, like a mammogram, for example. Mm -hmm. So this gives you that advantage to be way ahead mm -hmm. of the game and to do preventative uh, measures in order to keep your body in balance. Okay. And so we work with practitioners mm -hmm. providing you that information so that you can have that cutting edge knowledge, mm -hmm. bring your patients uh, the information to get them well. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. So what would it look like if a patient comes to you for a thermogram, a full body thermogram? What would they experience? Uh, the procedure is yes. broken down into three phases. First, we do all of the points with a handheld device lightly touching the surface of the skin okay. at a baseline. So the patient is fully clothed, long sleeves, loose fitting, so okay. nothing's really constricting, long pants, shoes, and socks. And then we move the you know, clothes around when we're looking at the chest points, the belly points. Mm -hmm. And then after we get those baseline points, we'll have a 10 minute cooling period mm -hmm. to where they'll stand in just their underwear mm -hmm. and chill for 10 minutes. Now we don't technically have to freeze the patient, but it is going to be a little bit uh, cooler, about mm -hmm. 68 degrees. Mm -hmm. So it's still room temperature, cool enough for when you remove your clothing, your skin will start to communicate via the autonomic nervous system mm -hmm. through the spinal cord to the surface of the skin based upon the dermatomes to look at the changes. So normally, whenever you get a little bit chilled, your blood flow is going to shift away from the surface right. to the internal organs. Absolutely. But in order for that to happen, those internal organs need to be communicating. Yeah. So after the 10 minute cooling period, we'll come back and recheck those points. And then the computer calculates a mathematical algorithm to look at the differences where we pick up signatures mm -hmm. of what type of imbalance or dysfunction is going on underneath. So okay. it's a beautiful way to use the way the body already works. It does this cooling, heating mechanism mm -hmm. on its own to okay. see what's going on inside mm -hmm. in a non-invasive, non-painful, it. Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't use radiation, mm -hmm. and you can see exactly what's going on. Okay, great. So talk a little bit about the dermatomes and their organs. Um, so the body skin as an organ is laid out in strips kind of like a map mm -hmm. and then the nerves communicate to the strips of the skin down through the spinal cord mm -hmm. and so one area of the skin for example is going to be related to an organ a lot of times it's directly underneath you know so like mm -hmm. this area is going to be the liver for example okay. and you know in the back you'll have mm -hmm. the kidneys mm -hmm. it's not always exactly the same but scientifically this is something that we've you know looked up and uh, they've determined the exact placement and so our points are exactly where they need to be okay. to look at how that nerve communication 
flows from the surface mm -hmm. to the internal organs. Okay, great. So whenever you're picking up that those signals or the readings from the different organs, what kind, what would give you a normal reading and what would give you an abnormal reading? So when an organ is able to communicate mm -hmm. and say, hey, I'm sensing a shift in temperature, let's move the blood closer mm -hmm. to where I need the blood, then it's going to be what we call regulating. Mm -hmm. It's going to regulate that blood flow. Okay. So we're looking to see, is the organ communicating appropriately? Mm -hmm. Because that's how we get a picture of the function of the organ. Absolutely. So scientifically, the thermogram was compared against healthy individuals, mm -hmm. athletic individuals, individuals mm -hmm. and individuals with known illnesses mm -hmm. so that we could see that difference between mm -hmm. what happens when you have someone with you know heart problems for example what does that body do compared to someone who's healthy right. so that's where we look at the regulation or the dysregulation okay good okay so as far as the oral cavity what kind of things can you pick up from teeth in the oral cavity and how do you do that all right so we actually measure a point for each tooth so I'll take the probe and go over each of the teeth and for example if the teeth are missing or wisdom teeth have been removed we still measure that mm -hmm. area because we want to know the health even if the tooth is removed. Um, it's going to look at the function of the tooth as an organ. So not just a piece of bone protruding from the jaw, but actually a functional part in the body because the teeth are critical to the health of all the rest of the body. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people don't really understand that it's not just clean, shiny teeth on the outside, but it's actually the health of the teeth on the inside That's right. and how they're functioning. So we're able to pick up subclinical infections way before you can see them with other devices mm -hmm. that then will affect that tooth and how it's able to function mm -hmm. that then can be shown as a symptom somewhere else in the body. We're so, all, yeah, go ahead. the teeth are related to the body? Absolutely, all mm -hmm. the way down. Mm -hmm. So there are specific uh, tooth to organ correlations mm -hmm. and there are uh, meridians that the teeth mm -hmm. are linked from the top all the way down even to your big toe. Yeah. And we have a, a page that has a report. It's a small report that kind of gives you an idea mm -hmm. of the important linkages, mm -hmm. but then we also provide a further information on the tooth chart that okay. really gives more detail so that you can link mm -hmm. the symptoms that you're having to the health of your mouth. Yeah, absolutely. And so a lot of times you could have symptoms in the breast, for example, mm -hmm. that can be tied back to the tooth. It's so interesting. It's so interesting. Mm -hmm. So if a patient comes in for a thermogram in the mouth and they've had, say, fillings done 10 years ago mm -hmm. that are white fillings, mm -hmm. could that cause an issue with regulation? I've seen this time and time again mm -hmm. to where even if they have the composite fillings, mm -hmm. there's actual heavy metal components in the white fillings. Mm -hmm. um, there's other chemicals, BPA for example, mm -hmm. that's a contaminant in the fillings that will affect the health of the tooth yes. and show up as symptoms at other places mm -hmm. in the body. So you mm -hmm. may have a symptom, for example, uh, in your liver or your kidneys, but you don't understand that the root cause is going to be in the mouth. That's so interesting. That's mm -hmm. interesting. So other things would be G this GMA, HEMA, and uh, fluoride is often in those, and other fluoride. metals, mm -hmm. uh, gluten, those things can actually interfere with regulation of the organ that's on that meridian. Absolutely. Okay. And so it's very important to be able to see which tooth you need to work mm -hmm. on in order to relieve that imbalance. Mm -hmm. Because no matter how much or how much time you spend on the symptom, you'll still have that root cause mm -hmm. problem. Even if it's a white filling, it still can have metal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what other issues do you see in the mouth associated with teeth other the, than the white fillings? Right, the thermogram also picks up issues with the gums. Okay. So we're looking at inflammation in the gums, mm -hmm. we're looking at um, if, there, if it's a t different type of infection. Mm -hmm. It also picks up problems if there's stress to the jaw from mm -hmm. like TNJ. Mm -hmm. that is going to be able to cause significant problems with the teeth that Absolutely. will then show up with the organs. And it can also block things in the brain too. The lymphatics shrink by 50% when we're grinding our teeth at night and we need that lymphatic flow in the brain. What other restorations or issues do you see associated with teeth or perhaps extracted teeth? Um, a lot of times we have people come in with implants 
of the implants are going to have metal components to mm -hmm. them. That needs to be monitored to see if it's causing an imbalance. Mm -hmm. What can we do to help correct that? Mm -hmm. There's also problems I see with people who get their fillings removed, but it wasn't done in a you know, contained environment. Mm -hmm. And what happens is that those fillings end up getting recirculated throughout the body That's right. and then deposited in other organs. That's right. So we're mm -hmm. looking for specific heavy metal signature mm -hmm. that will mm -hmm. show up on the thermogram. Mm -hmm. And then you can see if that's something that you're continuing mm -hmm. to have a problem with. Even if the fillings are removed, right. you still can have that heavy mm -hmm. metal signature. Exactly. Mm -hmm. What about teeth that have been extracted or root canal teeth? So root canal teeth are absolutely notorious for causing problems later on down the line with chronic diseases. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times the root canal can harbor types of infections, mm -hmm. whether it's bacteria, virus, mm -hmm. uh, sometimes it could be yeast or parasite. Mm -hmm. Everyone's different with right. depending on where they get exposed to. And so that's something where if you see an area that has a root canal that's showing a subclinical infection, you know that area needs to be sanitized. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And then teeth, say for instance, uh, wisdom teeth that have been removed in the past. So for the wisdom teeth that have been removed, I do see a lot of patients who are really surprised that part of the tooth is still there in the mm -hmm. socket. Mm -hmm. um, I think conventional dentists aren't really taught to remove even the ligament part mm -hmm. of the tooth. Right. And what happens and what I see is that the ligament, if it's left, um, starts to decompose and it releases toxic thiols, other compounds in that area mm -hmm. that then will cause um, chronic disease later mm -hmm. on. And right. so it's not at all expected. And it's mm -hmm. something where once you identify that, mm -hmm. you can go in and clean that up That's and right. leave the whole Absolutely. The symptoms. I love it. That's mm -hmm. wonderful. So if a patient were interested in having a thermogram, how would they get in touch with you? Wonderful. Well, they can always contact you at your office because mm -hmm. you have the brochures and information to set up appointments for your patients. Yeah. They also can look online. We have a website at www.thermographycenter.com. Mm -hmm. We have information on how to prepare for your appointment and then the contact information. We have two clinics, one in Rockwall and one in Dallas, so you can pick which one works best with your schedule and location. Wonderful. Thank you so much for joining and sharing with us today, and thank you.